guillotine, choke defense, standing self defense techniques. So, if I do nothing, when he applies pressure and you lean back, that's a good choke. First thing I'm going to do is a monkey grip on the wrist, and the other hand goes right over his shoulder, pointing down. As you can see here. Now I'm going to push, I mean, I'm going to hold down, hold down, and then use this to keep me there in place. When he goes to choke this time, there's nothing there. You can't even ch tell my voice is changing. So one, two, three, key details. So when he goes to apply pressure, go. Good. Now, this time, because he's planted on the ground, I'm able to move to go ahead and apply it. See that? But if he doesn't plant, if I move, he goes with me. We don't want it. So when he goes to apply the choke, both his legs are committed to being planted on the ground. That's what allows me to move to the side. So go and apply it, go. I move, I step, buckle, and shuffle down. He's not gonna let go of this. So what I have to do now, this hand comes over the top, cups to shoulder, applies pressure till he lets go. Once he does, uh, I hold on to the arm, hug the neck, slide forward to the mountain position. You want to try, please? Again, you get, my head gets wrapped. Immediately I look inwards, monkey grip on his wrist. The other hand goes on this side of his neck and hold. When he goes to apply pressure, I hop, step, buckle. I have to buckle this knee for me to be able to move him backwards. Buckle the knee, step. He's probably not going to let go. That's okay. Keep this hand here. Keep this from choking. This one cups. Make him look away towards the camera. And I apply pressure. When he lets go, I hold the arm and I move it out of the way. Now I go under the neck, prepare to mount. I don't want to mount like this. Slide like a snake. Knee on the ground, now I go and come up. Choke, good. 